Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hello. Book haul. Normally I'm not awkward filming, but for some reason I am. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> what? As today's video is going to be a very short one, but I am still excited to do it nonetheless. Wait, never the nonetheless? Either. Neither the less? Either. Either works, I think. <laughs> Neither the less. <laughs> I think I need to go to bed. Um, anyways, I have Major and Ashley here. As you guys saw, there's Major. Hey. Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Ashley's right there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little book haul for the semester. I actually don't have a lot of textbooks this semester or like novels or anything um, based off of the classes I'm taking. But there is one class and that is my poetry class that we have, I think, six chat books. Is that what you would call them? Collections. Collections? I what are chat books? Are they shorter? I don't think chat book is a real thing. <laughs> well, I, well, I like... looked it up and they said this was a chat book. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know anything about chat books, let us know because we're confused. I have six poetry collections, I believe, so I'm going to probably struggle through the titles and the authors or the poets, um, but I want to talk about it. I don't know the order, but I do know we're starting with Sylvia Plath. I'm so excited to read this because I've read nothing by Sylvia Plath. Um, <laughs> what? What? Nothing. Did I say something wrong? No, I just, you laughed when you looked at me, so I turned <laughs> Anyways, this is Ariel by Sylvia Plath, and I really, Ashley and I were just talking about reading The Bell Jar, so hopefully after I read this and get inside of her brain, I am more encouraged to read that one, but I'm so excited. I know that she is obviously well, um, well known. That's not what I was trying to say. What was I trying to say? well awarded, but that's not what I was trying to say. Acclaimed? She's, how would you say that in a sentence? What was the sentence? Like she's acclaimed? She's, well, distinguished? A distinguished writer? Why am I having... <laughs> <laughs> well, Sylvia Plath is obviously like very well known so I'm super excited to read this and I will report back probably in my September wrap up so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is the first book. What we have is I am predicting it's going to be really good just based off the cover because I think this cover is so pretty. It's Vuelta? No. Vuelta? Vuelta? Vuelta by Lourdes Figaro. Lourdes Figaro? Figaro? Why? 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 You're saying that? That's so good. And that sounds good. That is good. so good. Um, anyways, I'm so excited to read this. Based off of our chat book discussion, this one is called a chat book, so I will just say that. But I think the cover and the back cover are so pretty. Um, obviously that says nothing about the actual content, but hopefully it's good. It looks very fun in here, so. That's the second one. Third one we have is Citizen, an American Lyric by Claudia Rankine. Ashley said she actually read this and you enjoyed it, right? Yes. Ashley enjoyed it, so I'm excited. I did notice a little image in here. I'm gonna show it. Oh! Oh, wow! That's a new one. Whoa! It's probably like becoming the most like tragic poem you've ever read in your life too. Well, it ends, it ends in I am so so sorry. Okay. Should I just read the? No. Wow. I don't know what's happening there. Anyways, there was a funny photo that I found, so I'll try to find that again. Here's that. So I'm interested in this. We always love visual effects. So again, we'll update you soon. Dictee by Teresa Hot Kwan Cha, I believe. I don't know. I'm probably butchering that. But I've read nothing by Cha, so we shall see if it's good. 
Honestly, I haven't read a lot of poetry in general, and so this is all kind of new to me, so. Second to last one we have is Recyclopedia by Harriet Mullen. And I can't really, I don't know what it's censoring out here, but it's trimmings. What is, what is this censoring out? Or is it supposed to be sperm? Sperm. We're not sure what it's trying to say here, but that's probably part of the work and the art itself, so. Yeah. And then the last one is called IRL. I think. It's called IRL by Tommy Pico. Um, so I don't really know. Again, don't know what this one is, but it looks pretty good. It's obviously good enough to be studied in class. So I think it'll be really interesting. And I'm expanding what I read. Whoa. Last spring, it felt like I had a lot of novels, and this time I have a lot of collections of poetry, so I'm really excited. Again, like I said, I'll update you guys at the end of the month wrap-up, or whenever I read these. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was chaotic, but I wanted to go ahead and get it up. I will be uploading a week in the life vlog soon. I think I'm going to try to vlog like the sixth week of school. Um, just to kind of update mid, that's not mid semester. That's like a little, third. a third of the way throughout the semester. So yeah, look forward to that and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Your notes How should I do this? Whoa. Put your, put your hands further in like, like this. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get in this. My neck looks weird. <laughs> this is good. Bye.